Hi, my name is Lori Flasco and I speak to parents, students, educators and professionals about bullying. In this series I'm going to talk about if your child's being bullied, what are some steps or things that you can do in order to stop the bullying. And the first thing I recommend is to keep a log. You know, the sheer volume of information um, that can come through, it's really easy to forget or to have some pieces that are, are missed over, over time. Um, so keep records. Keep track of the date that things happened, the time, who was involved, uh, who said what, who's going to do what. And I'll tell you some of the, the reasons why this is important is because sometimes bullying can happen over time. And, and you know, if you re kind of remember back two weeks ago, we, we might miss some of the things that were said. So if something happens, write it down immediately and keep an ongoing sort of uh, tab of, of what's occurred. Definition of bullying means bullying is repeated and a log can definitely show that repetition that's involved. So if you're going in and you're talking to a principal or you're talking to um, uh, someone at the board, you have those records. In my daughter's case when she was being bullied, I remember keeping track of everything that occurred and uh, one time I really thought the principal was supposed to do something and he didn't. And I went back to the log and I found out he never said he was going to do what I thought he was going to do. So that log keeps us accountable, it keeps the facts in order, it allows us to know when we're to follow up, who's supposed to follow up. The log is also an excellent record um, if for, for uh, whatever reason you need to again prove that repetition but to prove that something's been happening. When, uh, when my daughter was bullied, we finally had to call the police, and you may be in that situation as well. And I was very prepared. I brought the log in, and, and that log showed a long history of the bullying. And the police were very appreciative of that because at one point when they went to visit a family, one of the family members didn't believe what was occurring, but that log showed the evidence and the proof, and the police were able to present it. There was also a time where the kids were um, bullying her online and I was able to take a, a copy of the instant messages and that also became part of the log when we presented it to the police. My daughter got very ill as a result of bullying and a lot of times if your child is hurting and you want to get help, if you need to go and you need to speak to a, a therapist or you need to go and you, you ha have to head into crisis, for example, sometimes you have to tell your story over and over again. And when your kids do that, they're re-traumatized. It can hurt. So I took the, the log and I put together a story, a synopsis, so that when we did go into crisis, she didn't have to repeat that story over and over again. So then we got right to what she needed help for. If you need tips on how to stop bullying or how to deal with bullying, please feel free to visit my website at www.bullyingisnotagame.com.